I started synchro when I was nine here in Walnut Creek with the Aquanuts and then I swam with them for nine years and then I went off to Stanford to swim there and then now I'm here. I think the biggest thing that gives me joy in synchro is just seeing how far I can push my body and really seeing that progress and you know getting more flexible or getting stronger and getting higher and it's really cool to see what your body can do um, because I, I think I don't think you really know until you actually push yourself to those limits and then just kind of looking back and just being proud of yourself for what you kind of pushed yourself through it and then you know just swimming with my teammates it's been really cool to get to swim with different groups you know, different different teams is kind of a different combination of people. Um, and I think every individual has brought something different into my life and I'm really thankful for that. And it's just cool to be able to experience something like this with your teammates, not just by yourself. I think that's one of the greatest things about our sport. Representing the United States is really kind of, you know, it's a feeling you can't really describe in words. It's it's just such pride in in what you're doing and what your team is doing and what you've already accomplished. I think it's just such a great opportunity that not very many people get in the world. And just to be part of that elite group, to go out in the world with the USA on our backs, it's it's just the coolest feeling. And then a feeling that's even better than that is, you know, standing on the podium and watching your flag rise to the top. I remember we were, you know, we got to experience that in 2011 at the Pan American Games. Our flag wasn't first, you know, it was second, but still just looking at that, it was just so cool. It was just such a moment of pride and joy. I'm pretty fortunate in that I get to live with my family and my parents, you know, I don't have to pay rent. But I do feel like at my age, I need to, you know, make a little bit of a living. So that's why I'm I'm a head coach of a team with the Walnut Creek Aquanets. And then I do private lessons on the side. So, you know, in total, it's maybe about you know 12 to 13 hours a week. Um, and I just I feel like I need to do that just to have something, you know, to show for 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 my work and what I've done. Um, I think it's you know, it's tough when we don't get the financial support from other places and that's that's just what I feel like I have to do to make ends meet. Hi, my name is Maria Koroleva. I am 24 years old and I am the captain of the U.S. Senior National Team and I want to say thank you for your support. Um, I got started in Synchro when I was about five years old. Um, I got, or I've been around it my whole life. My mom actually grew up <laughs> swimming and swam through college and is now a coach. So I've been around it but I started when I was about five in a summer program and joined the competitive team when I was nine and made my first national team when I was 16. I think, I mean, growing up it was always, you know, harder, friends asking you to hang out or go to a birthday party and you're like, sorry, I can't, I swim or, you know, I have practice, I have a meet, I'm not going to be in town. But, um, I mean, in the end, it's, you know, you know it'll all be worth it and, like, looking forward to you just have to keep your eyes on on your goal and what you're what you're gonna and where you're gonna end up and know that the result and your journey along the way is gonna be is it'll all be worth it and I really love our our team this year it's like it's a great group of girls and I love I love being with a group of eight girls that have the same same goals same dreams as me and we can really use it to push each, push each other and push ourselves to to keep going and it's it's such a great feeling to you know represent the US and just being able to when you get to a competition out of the international competition and having you know USA across your across your back or across your chest or on a flag on your cap like it's just i don't i don't i can't even describe the feeling it's such a such an amazing feeling just like to know that you're representing such a great, such a big and known great country. And Hi, my name is Anita Alvarez. I'm 18 years old. I'm representing USA Synchro. Thank you so much for all your support. So the goal of the Olympic Games, you know, the Olympic Games has many goals, 
but it really it seeks to kind of bring the world together in a peaceful way through athletic competition. And everybody kind of puts their differences aside and just the world comes together and you know, you just focus on competing in athletics, which is pretty cool. And now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how you can be an Olympian in your everyday life too. I think there are a couple of qualities that, you know, make, can make you not only a successful athlete, but a successful person too. So I think one of the most important things is to really be brave and not be afraid to take a chance. So like you saw in the video, when I was nine years old, I moved to the U.S. from Russia. So I was pretty much the same age as you guys, and I knew no English at all. So imagine sitting in your classroom and you don't understand a single word your teacher is saying. That's pretty hard, right? So six months after I moved to the U.S., I decided to join Synchronized Swimming. And for me, that was kind of, you know, it was a really big challenge because I didn't know the language, but I decided to be brave and just kind of go through it and take on a new challenge. And little did I know, but that leap of faith was what eventually got me to the Olympic Games. So my advice to you guys is don't be afraid to try new things. Even if something seems hard or challenging, just go for it, and then you never really know where a new activity is going to take you.